you want to protect your hair. Protect, protect, protect. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be going over some tips and how you can actually prepare your relaxed hair before you get a relaxer. There's a lot of things that you can use and do to actually prepare your relaxed hair before you get a relaxer. However, I actually was not implementing those things. So that's why I really wanna share a video with you guys because this time I did a relaxer, I actually implemented those things and it really made a difference on how my hair came out when I relaxed it. The first thing I would suggest implementing is deep conditioning your hair before you get a relaxer. Deep conditioning your hair actually improves the elasticity of your hair, which makes your hair moisturize, which means that you actually avoid breakage. Why? Because when your hair is dry, brittle, then that's when your hair tends to snap and break off. So think about all of those chemicals from the relaxer. Once that relaxer touches your hair, guess what? It's gonna strip your hair of all those oils and even your strands of oils. So you want to make sure that your hair is nicely moisturized before you actually get a relaxer. Another suggestion I have, before you relax your hair, you want to protect your hair. Protect, protect, protect. And by protect, I mean basically, you know, anything along the lines of maybe oiling your scalp oiling the strands of your hair, the actual strands, like all of this along here, you wanna oil it. Even your ends, make sure you get your ends, you oil your ends. Anything along that line of making sure that your hair is moisturized and that your hair is properly protected is great. Even though you're applying the relaxer to your new growth, when you go ahead and wash the relaxer out, guess what? It's going to come in contact with the rest of your hair. So you want to make sure that the rest of your hair is as moisturized as possible and it's protected from all of those chemicals from the relaxer. Now, when it comes to strengthening your hair, you want to make sure that your hair has some type of strength to it. And by strength, I mean protein. Now, you want to make sure that you balance moisture and protein. However, if you have protein sensitive hair, then of course you want to be careful. You maybe want to use like a light protein treatment, maybe like a hair mayonnaise or something that does not have as much protein in it, just so that your hair has some type of strength to it. Because when you relax your hair, guess what? Your hair is relaxed, right? Which actually means that your hair is weakened. Your strands are weaker. So that causes breakage. It's gonna cause breakage. It's going to cause your hair to weaken which actually allows it to be more susceptible to breakage. So you want to avoid that. You want to make sure that when you are protecting your hair using oils or any type of moisturizer, that you're also being very careful not to irritate your scalp or maybe tug on your hair too much because of course, more manipulation means more breakage, but you really wanna be careful that your scalp is not irritated because when you put the relaxer on, and you go ahead and your scalp is irritated from scratching it or maybe from you know touching it too often it's gonna burn it's good it's going to burn so i've had experience with that in the past where you know i've scratched my scalp before a relaxer and then it started to burn a lot faster than i expected so of course you never want your relaxer to burn but the point is, is that just try your best not to irritate your scalp or manipulate your hair too much before you get a relaxer. Guys, this is the number one tip that I would say. I didn't put it as number one, but this is a tip that I really, really did not implement in the past and I implemented this time and I really saw a difference of how much hair I lost because it's something that even though in the back of my mind I knew I should have done, I did not do. So that suggestion is to detangle your hair. Now, I knew before I should detangle my hair before a relaxer. However, maybe because of laziness or maybe because I just got busy and forgot, I did not detangle it the day or even the night before I got a relaxer. When I detangled my hair before the relaxer, it made the process so much easier and I realized that I lost a lot less hair there was an experience where I had that I went to the hair salon and she literally ripped my hair out because it was matted, it was tangled, and I did not properly detangle my hair and properly take care of my hair before I got the relaxer. So this time I was like, I need to make sure I don't make the same mistake. 
So I made sure to go through my hair and finger to tangle it first. And then I went through it and combed it through, just to make sure that there were no knots, there were no tangles, and it made the process so much easier. Just carefully, you know, detangle. Literally just detangle it, make sure that your new growth is detangled and make sure that you go through your hair section by section detangling it so that when you get the relaxer it's a lot easier of a process the last tip is that i would suggest clarifying your hair meaning using a clarifying shampoo to basically clean your hair make sure it's clean all of that buildup and all of that oil that maybe have accumulated on your scalp can be cleaned now there's kind of like a matter of timing and how you do things now by that i mean when you get a relaxer you do not want to wash your hair within one week before you relax it and the reason is because guess what it's not going to be beneficial your hair's your hair's is not gonna is not gonna be good okay now i say this because even if you wash it a few days before you may it may not be the best and I say that from experience because one time I went swimming, don't ask me why, I went swimming, then I relaxed my hair right after. That was the worst thing I could have done. And I didn't know why. I didn't know that I shouldn't have. I didn't know that that was not a good idea, but I did it and my entire head was burning. As soon as the relaxer was applied to my hair, it started to burn. My entire hairline was peeling for like two weeks. It was burnt. It got like my literally my skin started to burn <laughs> from the relaxer. For me, I usually wait two weeks only because before I get a relaxer, I typically have in a protective style such as knotless braids. So because I have in knotless braids, I usually have some type of, you know, period where I wait before I get a relaxer. So when I take the knotless braids out, I wash it and then about two weeks later or maybe a week and a half later i get a relaxer so it's usually something i don't worry too much about but i know some people who don't get protective styles they may feel like they need to wash their hair right before a relaxer please 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 do not do that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video